Aggressive, extreme, and intense, the West Kiskatinaw River wildfire moved fast and doubled in size overnight. Residents of Tumbler Ridge went from seeing smoke in the distance to an evacuation order in just hours Thursday. More than 2,000 fled to nearby communities. Angela Zimmer quickly picked up her three-year-old twins from daycare and tried to explain what was happening. So I actually showed them where the smoke was and what that meant, that there was a big fire coming. And they did this on their own accord. They, um, they started calling it a monster. And the firefighters and the fire trucks are going to go fight the monster. She is watching updates closely, thinking about the community she loves. I know that we could start our lives over elsewhere, but I really don't want to lose my home. They have friends to stay with. Not everyone is so lucky. I slept in my vehicle last night. Um, the kids slept in the car with me. So there were six of us with two dogs and two cats in that SUV. Fire crews and city staff who stayed behind shared this video of the community. And there is some cautious optimism. Hopefully that wind will shift earlier than it is forecast to. But in the meantime, the area, do, the area of concern continues to be the community of Tumbler Ridge. This is the second time this year Dawson Creek has welcomed evacuees fleeing fires. The most important is we get everybody healthy and we get them out of there. I mean, people can't be replaced. You know, objects can. There are also concerns about prehistoric artifacts. Thousands visit Tumbler Ridge every year to see the bones and fossilized footprints here. It's been recognized by UNESCO as a site of international significance. From BC's premier, words of warning for everyone in the province about a fire season already off to an early and dangerous start. Please use caution uh, so that we can try our best to avoid uh, a catastrophic fire season here in the province. For now, it's a waiting game for residents of Tumbler Ridge, watching the forecast and hoping the fire spares their community. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Dawson Creek.